hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really well today i'm doing for you uh, a review of the l'oreal and elisa collaboration uh, i did two looks for you which are on my face at the moment you want to see how i did these looks and what i thought then keep on watching Okay, so before we go ahead and start with the eyes, I want to uh, show you what the packaging looks like. So, um, this is the beautiful packaging. It's got like a leather, so all of this is like a leather material. It's really, really nice and it's got L'Oreal by Elisa written over here. And then when you open it, you've got a beautiful mirror. This is what the palette looks like from the inside i have done swatches of these for you on my hand so i'll just show you these now so this is what the swatches look like uh, right there is the golden one just so you know so these are all the swatches that i have on my hand for you and then obviously we'll do the eyes i will do two looks for you uh we'll try two different colors on both my eyes and um yeah we'll just get started Okay, so I have zoomed you right in um, just so that you can see exactly what we are doing. Um, I have prepped my eyes, so I've got my Urban Decay Prime Potion and I've set all of that with um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Uh, I use a colour 2 medium. Okay, so for the first look, um, what I want to do is basically work, um, do like a copper bronzy neutral eye uh, so for that i'm just going to be using the first color which is this one over here and that will go in my water they are very dusty can you see they are very dusty that's we'll see what it looks like on the eye right next we are going to go in with this color in the corner over here this one I'm just going to be using that in the actual crease. I don't see a lot of pigment coming from that color, to be honest. Um, it is a nice pinky glittery color, but it's not overly pigmented. However, we will work with it. And then um, on the, the middle part, I just want to use this gold colour over here. I'm just going to use my fingers. So that is a nice gold shimmery colour, but I did have to pack it on twice for it to actually show on the lids. Um, so that's one thing you might want to be wary of. Um, now obviously this is a very neutral, a uh, very summery and a very light colour but I do want to bring in some colour on the corner there so I am just going to use this dark brown colour over here. They are very very dusty look, very very dusty. I'm just going to add that to the outer part of my eye. I'm not overly excited about the colours at the moment, I'm not going to lie. Um, however, I do still think we can work with this. Uh, I'm now going to add a little bit of this rusty peach colour. So I think that might give it some more depth. I'm just going to add this here. Okay, I think that looks slightly nicer now. What do you guys think? I think we have a bit more definition, slightly more colour. I think out of the, all the colours I've used so far, this is my favourite one. Uh, and I'm just going to accentuate that gold again because it almost feels like it's just lost use that peachy colour that we did before right under the brow bone for the next eye um, obviously we'll leave this um, as it is for now start with this eye with this one 
I'm contemplating whether I should do a purple or a green eye but since I'm wearing a green shirt I might as well just go the grey uh, the green route so I'm just taking the lighter green which is this one a lot of fallout I can, can you see there's like little dots of glitter under my eyes which is the fallout from the gold color but otherwise I haven't had any fallout on this side there's just very slight fallout over here of the green uh, but to be honest with such a color it's usually quite common now I'm just going to take the dark green over here which is actually like really beautiful it's almost like a black black green and add that to the outer V They are blending in really really nicely so we've got the dark green here and the lighter green there i just want to add ever so slightly the, like a brownie color just to give this more depth this peachy color that we used in the first eye just add it on top this now in the middle of the section I want to add purple I know this is very very controversial but I want to see what it looks like I'm hoping it looks nice if not then we can obviously change it okay, that doesn't look too bad but I do need to add more purple in there okay that's not too bad to be honest um, I thought it would look really really bad but it's not looking too bad I do however want to go in some with some more green so I'm just going to add slightly a tint of more green here just to amplify and really emphasize on the green okay I'm not mad about that and then I'm just going to use the same color for under my brows we are looking like at the moment um, obviously this is more like a daytime bridal look this is more like I don't know clubbing I'm not sure um, but yeah so I will complete the rest of my makeup I will do I will finish the eyes and then yeah I'll be back okay so I am back with my uh, face finished uh, with makeup and also my lip liner before we go on to the lipstick I do want to zoom you into my eyes and show you the finished look and what I've actually done so you can see the top of my eyes are exactly the same as we did uh, before I left to complete my makeup and then on the bottom what I've done is for the brown one I literally just added the same um, <clears throat> uh, the orangish terracotta color under my eyes and then uh, I just used my L'Oreal infallible pencil um, the gel crayon 24 hours waterproof one uh, this is in the color super copper so I just did that in my waterline and I did my mascara and then on this eye I used the same green color that I used for the crease under my eyes over here and then I merged that with the purple uh, over here just so that the inner eye is brightened uh, and for my waterline I used uh, this fleshy color it's my one of my favorites it's the Rimmel Scandalize uh, waterproof um, liner in the color 005 nude so I just added that to my waterline just to open up the eyes a little bit now this range also comes with a mascara when I looked at it I realized it was actually just the paradise mas mascara they had that only changed um, the packaging so I had the mascara already I have the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic, Ecstatic mascara already so I just used that on my eyes I do have a lipstick uh, in this range however I only have one uh, I think they have come up with four lipsticks and three glosses if I'm not wrong I will put those pictures here somewhere for you I don't usually wear lip glosses so I didn't buy one however I did buy a lipstick I have is called Santal Clash um, it's a really beautiful pa the eye palette uh, where it's like plush uh, pink uh, it's got the Elisa written over here it's got a beautiful pattern on top over here and then if you take out the lipstick which is also gorgeous it's got this beautiful um, color on it as well I do use um, 
lip liner on an everyday basis which is why I've got lip liner however this is what it looks like on the hand if I swatch it it's really nice I would say like a medium brown pinkish color it's really really nice so I'm just gonna put that on my lips now okay um, I'm not gonna lie guys this is a beautiful color I really do think it looks it, you know what it's a weird thing it actually matches both my eye looks for some reason which is really really odd okay, so if you look at it this way um, this obviously goes as well and then if you change it this way it goes this, this way as well so I'm very 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 happy with this so to sum it up I um, I am very very happy with the lipstick I have to say I love the color I love the formula it's very comfortable uh, in terms of the palette I am not very sure about to be very honest I mean it's a beautiful packaging it will look beautiful in your collection if you're a person who likes to collect limited collections then this is definitely one of those things but I'll be very honest I don't see myself using these colors anytime soon the green I really liked the, the green brown and this terracotta color but other than that it was a very meh palette you'd have to build the color quite a lot and really had to work into the crease and um, also I forgot to mention uh, the gold color that I did on my eye there was so much fallout over here that even after wiping with a wipe um, I added extra cream and wiped over with the tissue the glitter in that golden uh, shimmer literally stuck onto my skin I, I had to use my nails to take it out uh, until I realized that I was actually making that eye area very, very sore so I stopped uh, you might be able to see some of shimmer there uh, and that's I mean I mean obviously it might be my highlighter but that shimmer is definitely um, the gold flecks are from the eyeshadow mad with the look I have now but to be honest I I I could have just done that with any other drugstore uh, palette uh, Rimmel does really really good ones Maybelline one does amazing palettes uh, in theory though L'Oreal really do do quite a lot of good palettes as well but I think in just this one they just missed it and that's it guys i really hope you liked this review please do give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe guys do leave your comments down below and let me know if you want me to review anything else and yeah i'll see you guys later bye